As children, most of us aspired to become something completely unrealistic. But whether you dreamed of saving the day as a superhero or ruling over a kingdom as a princess, it's safe to say you probably gave those aspirations up a long time ago. Then again, what if you didn't? And what if instead of a hero or royalty, you wanted to become a giraffe? That was the dream of one Los Angeles woman who, after years of admiring the long-necked mammals, took her obsession one step further. After seeing the lengths this woman went to in order to become one with the giraffe, you'll never take your neck for granted again. From an early age, Sydney Smith wasn't shy about showing off her long neck. She took pride in her appearance, and from middle school onward, her unique fascination would go to earn her the nickname Giraffe Girl. For Sydney, this nickname was more of a compliment than an insult, and as the years went on, she began to embrace her Giraffe Girl identity. Giraffe print clothing and accessories became regular staples of her wardrobe. But as her love for giraffes grew, Sydney felt there had to be more she could do to make herself feel closer to the animal she idolized. She took to the web, and it was there she discovered the Kaiwan Lahi people. For centuries, the women of the Kaiwan Lahi used brass coils to gradually elongate their necks. According to tradition, this practice made the woman more beautiful to men of the tribe and served as a symbol of their cultural identity. This practice seemed like the perfect opportunity for Sydney to become one with the giraffe. So in 2011, she began fitting her own neck with copper rings. Sydney was willing to undergo the body modification, but the process of stretching her neck wouldn't be so straightforward. Unlike Sydney, the Cayenne Lawi women typically began wrapping the coils around their necks at the age of five. This allowed them to stretch their torsos as their bodies matured. But despite being a fully grown woman, Sydney was as determined as ever to make her dream a reality. She began slowly at first, placing one coil at a time to allow her body to adjust to the weight. Eventually, Sydney was able to fit 15 copper rings around her neck, weighing in at a total of five pounds. As Sydney's neck grew, so did her fame, and pretty soon the story of the giraffe woman was known far and wide. She even made it into an issue of Ripley's Believe It or Not for undergoing such a unique transformation. But as time went on, the rings began to take a toll on Sydney's physical health. The coils grew cumbersome, and their size and stiffness made it incredibly difficult for Sydney to carry out even the most basic daily tasks. A fast lane change while driving is scary when you don't have free range of movement, Sydney told Huffington Post. I couldn't function properly as a woman with 15 rings around my neck in the United States of America. Not only that, but Sydney also began to feel like she had become something of a sideshow attraction. Everywhere she went, she received odd looks, and on more than one occasion, she was approached by strangers who were curious about her rings. It was always about the rings. It wasn't about Sydney anymore, she said. I became more introverted and isolated. I tried to avoid the public. Her rings even began to affect her relationships. They would just want to talk about the rings, and that gets tiring. Or a partner would act like they're okay with it, but then ask me to remove them or not bring me around their family. Eventually, Sydney had enough. And in 2016, a full five years after putting on her first coil, she decided to free herself from her copper prison. The task seemed simple at first, but as she and a friend began the removal process, she realized it would be anything but easy. A very hardcore glue held the rings together. We had to put a chemical on it to eat through the glue, she recalled. Someone then had to pull the rings apart. It was very painful and took about 15 minutes. Following the removal, Sydney found her neck was weak and bruised, prompting her to schedule regular visits with a chiropractor to help her regain her strength. 
But after five long years of body modification, one shocking fact remained. Sydney's neck wasn't longer. If she's finished growing, then all she's doing is stretching her skin or putting the bones into traction by pulling them apart, said orthopedic surgeon Dr. Jonathan Nissanoff in a 2014 interview. The rings aren't going to make her bones longer. Once she removes them, her neck will come back to size. And he was right. Despite Sydney's insistence, the practice did not actually stretch her neck. Instead, the rings served to weigh down her collarbone and rib cage, giving her the appearance of a longer neck. Sydney no longer wears her rings, but she still keeps them around as a memento. She's since had a child and is now even considering turning her passion into a business by selling removable neck coils as beauty-enhancing accessories. People have asked me where they can get their own rings, so I may start a line of giraffe woman rings, she said. Doing this got a lot of my showbiz desire out of my system, so I think I'm going to focus on being an entrepreneur.